To help a child become a good student, their essential needs must be met first. That includes making sure the child is healthy. The staff at Jerry Zucker Middle School understands this, so that is why they have teamed up with Federal Healthcare Network to provide medical services on campus. So you have to have the kid uh, come to school, be healthy enough to be attentive in class, be healthy enough to stay in class, uh, be focused on their schoolwork. A few years ago, Principal Jake Perlmutter and his team started asking students if they had access to primary care physicians. Almost all of the ones they talked to said no. That led to the school reaching out to health care organizations who would be willing to provide support at the school. Fetter said yes. Really appreciate the organization from top to bottom for making this happen for kids. Their heart's in the right place. They're, um, you know, they're not chasing. It's not about uh, reimbursement or, or, or the money. It's about really delivering the right services to kids. And I'm really, really grateful for the whole organization for making this happen here at Zucker Middle School. If we can, can make sure that the kids are healthy and the kids are staying in school and they're getting their education and we're developing relationships with the students and their entire family, then everybody wins. Good? Moves? Everything moves okay? Good. Let me see your hands. The initiative came to fruition last fall and continued through the spring school closures as the COVID-19 pandemic began. They have resumed this fall every Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. with their mobile unit at the front entrance of the school. So far, about 70 families have taken advantage of this opportunity. So we can do complete exams. Um, there's an exam table in there. There's there's actually a bathroom in there, so we can do urine samples, we can do blood samples, we can do, um, I mean, pretty much anything you can do in a, in a general medical office. But I can do like strep swabs, I can swab, do for, uh, flu swabs, can do, you know, a full on general medical exam, uh, write prescriptions and um, you know make recommendations. We work really well together. They're really thorough and really patient and um, the PA that we have and the nurse that we have, they're really compassionate about our kids and they mean well and they their goal is just to help. The school nurse at Zucker, Marquita Johnson, added having additional medical professionals on campus makes her work easier. More importantly, more of their students avoid missing time at school. It's important to keep our kids immunized for um, to meet the requirements to be in a public school and it's important to be able to get them access to health care where maybe they can't don't have transportation and base, to keep them in school. The kids benefit from it. We get to keep them in school. So our tenant, we're not losing a kid for a day and, 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 and in many situations we're not losing them for multiple days. This service is not limited to the students on campus. Virtual students can access the mobile unit, as can their family members, and students and their families from the elementary schools in the Dorchester Road corridor. It's important that uh, the families do know that we're here. I know that the Jerry Zucker kids and families know because the school has promoted that and, and done a good job with that. We are just a, a hub of the whole Dorchester Road corridor uh, and felt that if we were able to bring Fetter to us here at Zucker Middle School, we'd also be able to capture a lot of the kids younger brothers and sisters from Lambs, Goodwin, and Hunley Park. The Federal Healthcare Network offers a sliding fee program to make the visit affordable, and they can assist families with applying for other free programs. More proof that thanks to the partnership, families have less to worry about when it comes to their children's health and education. For the stories of CCSD in North Charleston, I'm Andy Pruitt.